What's up guys, it's Shani with Healing Elements here to add another video to the playlist all about spirit animals. This video in particular is all about the polar bear spirit, the polar bear spirit animal. So if as you take a listen to this video, resonate with any of the symbolism, meanings, and or interpretations that I personally give, this of course can be an energy that you can work with and or if you have never explored what your spirit animal is I do have a video I've just uploaded 20 minute excerpt of a presentation about what your spirit animal is used for in life and during your spiritual awakening and also ways in which you can perhaps discover what your spirit animal is if you have not already resonated with one throughout your life so again, soul family, blessings, love, and light. This is a video all about the beautiful spirit of the polar bear, this polar bear spirit animal. This is an absolutely powerful animal totem to use throughout your life when needed. And it signifies a great sense of determined independence, a very concrete, example in the animal world of although independent and although you know most often stranded and or at this time in our history very much vulnerable and isolated it signifies strength through adversity as well so an independent power to overcome any struggle. The polar bear spirit also in Native American tribes is very much cherished and celebrated and is an emblem of magical power in medicine and healing and all in all strength again in battle or overcoming incredibly adverse situations. Also the polar bear spirit has meaning that of course is just as you know we cherish this animal many people hold polar bears you know beloved to them as irresistible and joyful so their irresistible and joyful appearance is something if you resonate with the polar bear spirit that you can wear of course as a personality trait yourself to others you seem jubilant even if you are going through some sort of struggle or are outcast or forced to be independent. <clears throat> the polar bear spirit also has a big emphasis on priorities, prioritizing actually fun and enjoyment and again being jubilant over the stress, over the focus, over the obsessive nature of catastrophic thinking regarding a struggle. So just as in any battle or war as human beings do will you know create be creative and think of battle hymns this is something indicative of your personality if you resonate with the polar bear spirit throughout any challenges or times in which you are isolated and or stranded or vulnerable as the polar bear in the wild sometimes is you prioritize being joyful having fun and playing as you see the polar bears here doing so in order to stay centered into the truth of the universal law of love, being able to understand that yes, there are struggles here on this physical plane that we go through, but if at all possible, if you have the capability to see through those adverse situations and find time to prioritize fun, this is something that would be indicative of your energy if you resonate with the polar bear spirit. Also, polar bear energy is symbolic of cleverness. You know, um, of course, in the wild, the polar bear senses seals far, far below his paws under the ice. So hunting in this clever hide and seek ambush type of way. So you can be very unpredictable in that type of way in which you look jubilant, fun, and as if you're enjoying yourself. However, in one quick, witted, clever ambush, you know, you can catch your prey off guard or people or situations that seem challenging to others. You can catch yourself playing a pivotal role and just as the polar bear in the wild does 
metaphorically stomping strongly down on the ice, taking charge, digging down to surprise and seize the prey or to surprise and seize this challenge or battle and have it overcome and have it won before it actually even began to show as a chase. Again, the polar bear spirit animal energy, you know, this animal totem energy is really representative about utter determination, complete and utter determination, again, through adversity as well, and showing vulnerability to all very humbly, which is very difficult to do. You know, being vulnerable and being humble it does not come easily to most. This comes very easily to you if you resonate with the polar bear spirit animal energy. You do not mind showing your vulnerability as the polar bear does in the wild now as we all take a look at this polar bear because of technology. We can, you know, tap into any one of the cameras that are constantly filming and we can see their struggle, their determination for survival and their vulnerability as they lose weight and protect their cubs and are unable to find prey to eat due to the melting of the glaciers, etc. So you also, in that notion, the polar bear spirit animal to me has a lot of emphasis on environment, obviously, you know, that's something that would come first to our minds when we think of polar bears. So you yourself, if you resonate with this energy, you may be a result or product of your environment, of the environment, of the world stage of perhaps who and where you were raised, you know, um, where you grew up in or currently are in, you tend to be like a sponge and will soak up what is around you and become a result and a product of your environment. Of course, the polar bear is, you know, a big example of, you know, taking the brute end of others' neglect. So that is a big symbolism <clears throat> and message, I believe, with the polar bear spirit animal energy. You are a, you know, um, sacrificial lamb, so to speak. So just like the lamb spirit animal video, this is a trait in which you are born naturally with and you carry it almost as if you are carrying the world on your shoulders. You know, you take others' neglectful deeds and others' irresponsible actions that build up over time, i.e. the environment and what we've done to cause harm to it, and you then wear the result and you wear the uh, effects. The cause and effect has a direct link to you, and this would be indicative of your life as well. So you are a product of your environment, i.e. if you were surrounded by abusive folks, you will clearly be an example for others around to take note of what situation is going on. It's very hard for you to hide. You're very vulnerable openly without playing a victim. So, you know, you are constantly having to swim in surmountable distances metaphorically in your life. Challenges, you know, due to harm brought on by others, just as the polar bear does in nature. But nonetheless, if you resonate with the polar bear spirit, animal energy, you will persevere. You have indelible perseverance. And, you know, even with the polar ice caps melting, metaphorically in your life, the tower comes down, you know, you are still going to swim longer and longer distances to find a solution and utilize whatever patches of ice, whatever in life that you can you know, use as stepping stones to accomplish the end goal, which is survival and raising your young. Or if you are not a direct, you know, a partner or a parent or in a parental role, this can be making it known and setting an example for the youth or the collective consciousness of spirits here. Of course, the polar bear, if you have a kinship as I do in nature, incredibly beautiful the way that they mother their young. So the polar bear spirit energy, if you resonate, you are very nurturing, very mothering, extremely responsible as a parent and sacrificial uh, beyond all measures. Unfortunately, you know, polar bears sometimes do have two cubs and due to a lot of the global warming and climate changes and, you know, um, less and less food for them to survive on at times, this energy of the polar bear in, in the wild, they are so sacrificial. They know that they will have to abandon one cub, the weaker cub in order 
for them and their lineage to survive. And that is a difficult decision. So if you resonate with this energy, making difficult decisions that will hurt you emotionally and you will carry that burden with you, but you do this because mentoring and rearing your young and knowing that you are responsible for breeding the future is something that is first and foremost in your energy field if you resonate with the polar bear spirit animal energy. Of course, you can be ferocious. So you have protective nature. You can be ferocious if needed. Nothing would be ever, you know, able to overpower the ferocity, this fierce energy that you have when afflicted by any outside trouble. And this is most notable when, of course, protecting those that you love or your environment that you love as well. This um, animal energy, of course, being surrounded by ice and fur, I would assume if you resonate with the polar bear spirit animal energy, you, as I, dislike the heat. And at home, you prefer temperate or even chilly locations. You'd prefer to be cold, therefore putting on a fur, a fa, a fake fur, I would hope, coat to get warm rather than being idle and unable to enjoy yourself fully because of the uncomfortable heat. So also the polar bear energy is, you know, something indicative of a very, very calculated mindset. So you're very calculating if you resonate with this. Um, of course, the polar bear hibernates, you know, and this gives the polar bear time to conserve energy. So you do the same. You conserve energy just as the polar bear will give birth and ensure that, you know, while you are enjoying the first stages of your young, you are also simultaneously multitasking, very calculating. You are reserving your energy while hibernating in the den. So, you know, sustenance in your life and kind of reserving calories, so to speak, in any sense that you want to place that metaphor in your life. You know, you are vulnerable yet calculated in your decision making in order to determine this, you know, um, success through adverse situations. Also, you can sometimes be, as some of the other spirit animal energies, taken in the wrong way just based on judgment based on the way that you do look. Of course, in, you know, nature, the polar bear does look ferocious. Um, however, you, if you come across that way, have a gentle nature, even if you do look intimidating, people will say, oh, you know, they're just a big teddy bear on the inside if they do get to know you. Also, people may, you know, put you as a target of bully mentality, bullshit, uh, hater nation, perhaps will hunt you just because if you resonate with the polar bear spirit, you are hunted for bragging rights pretty much because you are such an emblem of this magical, you know, ethereal, healing, nurturing, beautiful, sacrificial servitude type of energy. So not only metaphorically hunted in your life for just the right to brag and say that they've got you, you know, um, it is for egotistical reasons, just like hunters do it for rugs, you know, for no proper purpose. People may go on a witch hunt toward you in your life without provocation, just because they are jealous purely sometimes of your jubilance and your natural, authentic way of staying cool, so to speak, when the heat is on. Also, the polar bear spirit symbolizes gratitude, appreciation, and devotion, which is a beautiful, you know, tool that we all, in my opinion, should practice saying grace and enjoying the little things, appreciative of the little things and experiences, those little moments that we are given that are magical. You know, picture the polar bear sliding down a snowy mountain with her cubs playfully again and again for just for the fun of it, you know, and knowing that she is trying to protect the sense of fear to her cubs. She knows that perhaps it will be days, if not nothing at all to eat. However, for the moment, she is going to envelop that energy of joy and love and celebrate that. And so that is something that you definitely carry around if you resonate with this spirit. You enjoy the little things. The experiences give you much to be thankful for. And you are very, very grateful. Also, the polar bear is indicative of camouflage as well, just like some other spirit animals like the gecko. Um, you know, same color as the environment. The polar bear is in wilds. 
uh, they blend in to thrive. So you will blend into a crowd, not because of any sort of expected theme or trend, just because that is one of your core strengths. You have this core strength in adverse situations, including being able to blend in in order to survive. You have incredible resolve. If you resonate with the polar bear spirit animal and very solution oriented, instead of procrastinative, you are get the job done type of thing. And as the mouse spirit, actually, you thrive in very sparse or hostile conditions. Again, the environmental factor, you know, you never let the space that you are in, you know, um, just detour you or distract you from what you need to survive. And this means in any kind of sparse or hostile environment. You also, if you resonate with this energy, you can, you know, harness this very immense, incredible power and strength. And this can be in healing yourself and others. Um, also, you know, to fight debilitating disease, right? Or, you know, other people's tendency uh, to have a disease of the mind. So you're very healing in a magical, beautiful way that is understood from people with uh, incredible, difficult mental health issues and also special educational needs. People are attuned to you because they know authentically you are very gentle, understanding, and your motto is, I can do anything if I believe I can, and so can you. And you pass this on. If you resonate with the polar bear spirit energy, you are incredibly deliberate as the polar bear is slow and a steady pace deliberately as they hunt for prey and navigate the polar lands. Also, again, uh, just like that misunderstood judgment type of theme, if you resonate with the polar bear spirit, animal energy, you're often mislabeled or, you know, people make assumptions about you to be something that you're not. Polar bears are white colored, right? No, they actually are a beautiful icy blue color. Uh, you know, with the fur, it is actually a translucent, hollow, really thick protective type layering. And this makes it appear white. So very, again, going back to the camouflage, very clever, very calculated, and also misunderstood in different ways, metaphorically. So you definitely blend in with this camouflage and can adapt therein as another skill set into any environment. If you resonate also with a polar bear spirit energy, you are very studious and, you know, you like to do introspection. So reflective learning in every detail of your space. You will remember the trek and the journey, what adverse situations and what you were vulnerable about to get to the other side. And you will hold this to you in knowledge and wisdom that you keep in order to plan the best attack or method to the madness next time. You know, like the Survivor show, that show Survivor, or there's a beautiful show alone. This is something that is indicative of the polar bear spirit for sure. Being able to be independent and survive and take care of yourself, having everything you need with, you know, wisdom and creative calculating ideas in order to get things that may not be easily attained from others that don't have that survival instinct. You know, you are genius in using what is around you to make miracles. Just picture the civil, civil war widow you know, making a dress out of the house curtains and being complimented on it. That is something that you do. Very loving, healing energy, indicative of the moon energy, the mother Gaia, the mother earth, very capable of providing love. And again, this is throughout, you know, hail, sleet, snow, blizzard. You are able to provide absolute nurturing comfort to those who you call your soul family. So blessings, love, and light, guys. Again, this is Shani with Healing Elements, thanking you with a lot of gratitude, lot, lot of blessings sent your way now and always. This was all about the spirit animal of the polar bear.